Ah, Fallout 4. You know, I haven't been here in like a few months. And it feels like, it feels like going home after a long hard day of work, you know. It's very peaceful and serene and just beautiful. You know, I never really appreciate how beautiful... There's something running up behind me. Ah! Ah! For this video, I'm back in Fallout 4. I told you guys I'll be jumping back and forth between this and 76. And after the last build in 76, I think taking a break in Fallout 4 is probably best. I put the stairs in the wrong way. <laughs> no. Oh, I gotta start all over again. I wanted to make the game feel a little different, so I played around with uh, several green mods and finally found like the perfect combination. Now I'm sure some of you are not big fans of green mods. I know some people don't like them because they aren't lore friendly or they don't go with the game, blah, 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 whatever. Don't get me wrong, I understand it, but I love the way this looks. This is just enough change without taking away from the Fallout environment. So I'm using um, Rust Belt Flora paired with True Grass, and I can't recommend these enough. Rust Belt is on Xbox and PC. True Grass is only available on PC, but I'm sure there are others on Xbox. I was going to build a player home made out of a train or something, but I downloaded these grass mods, walked past Red Rocket, got a bit of nostalgia because I haven't built here since... Like, I first started my channel. Yeah, one of my first videos is here at Red Rocket, and that was the last time I built here. Which, by the way, people are still asking me where part two is. Yeah, it's been three years. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure I'm not going to be doing part two on that one. I really appreciate you guys asking for it, though. But I thought it looked so nice that I had to build something here, and that's what I did. This is just the structures, so I'm doing this very similar to how I used to make my videos where I spend a week building the structures, do a video, spend the next week on the decorations, and then do a final tour. So I'll do a brief tour of what I have so far and then go over how I built it. Alright, so the whole idea behind this build is to turn Red Rocket into a town that is not with any factions. You know, kind of like Diamond City. They don't really have a faction, they're just trying to survive. And that's the whole goal with this place. So we have two entrances right here. I don't know why I did two, but uh, there's, there's two of them. I guess I was following the roads. Maybe that's why I put two. I haven't thought about why there are two entrances until now. Huh. There's two guard towers right there. This is going to be a check-in station, very similar to the Covenant. And then up here is going to be another guard tower. You can never have too many guard towers. My favorite spots is this right here. So this is the mail room, or like their mailboxes. So I shrunk this whole thing down to make it look like small individual mailboxes and placed a newspaper bin right beside it and also a community notice board that they can check after they get their mail. <laughs> I don't know, I thought the idea of getting mail in the wasteland was hilarious, but hindsight is telling me it's not. This side is the marketplace. It's a lot smaller than what I normally do for marketplaces, but it gets the job done. I really like this spot up here. This is the uh, this is gonna be like the living area for the armorer downstairs. So we got the shop downstairs, and then up here is where you know his house is. If you cut through this shop, it will lead to the clinic, and I'm gonna have a few more shops out here. I don't know what yet, but I'm gonna have a few more shops. This is gonna be a farmer's market. That's why I put these plants out here. Um, I put a few things around, like a few decorations around, just to kind of help me figure out what I'm going to do. It's, it's always good in the build process, just to kind of throw a few things down. Over here is the bar area. It's nothing too crazy just yet, but I'm going to make it look really cool with decorations. And I haven't done anything on the inside. I don't know what I'm going to do in here just yet. If you guys have any ideas, let me know. I'm, I'm kind of drawing a blank, but... It's gonna be cool, we'll see. Back here through this fence is the residential area. And these places always, they, they kind of bum me out, but also crack me up because I picture living here, trying to survive, but also trying to have somewhat of a normal life, you know? And you're like trying to invite someone over to your house and it's like, yeah, hey, I, I live in the metal shack in the back. Yeah, that's me, not the RV. And if you see the wood shack, you've gone too far, okay? I'm the metal shack, not the bus. <laughs> The metal shack. Come hang out, we'll have dinner. It's another wood shack up here, but uh, it's not going to be a house. I'm going to try to turn this whole area into maybe a farm. It's just on a hill, and it's very hard to build on a hill. So I'm going to try to do a barn or something. I'll put the tools up there. 
or something. I don't know. And this is the last set of guard towers. I have one on each corner. And, oh, can't get through. This isn't, okay, there we go. I'll fix that. But, uh, okay, so that's pretty much it for the structures. So now I'm going to go into which mods I used and essentially how I built this whole thing. All right, I'm not going to show the build in real time because that would take forever, but I'm going to go over the method of how I built this. Now, I've seen a lot of comments on my videos from people saying that they love the idea of settlement building, but they don't have the skill or patience to build everything from the ground up. And so with this build, I purposely built everything using prefabs. Everything you see was built with some sort of prefab. There's only one structure that I built uh, from scratch, which was right here, this, the bar. But everything else, I just added on to. And I did this to show you guys that you don't have to build everything, you know? Like, there's a plenty of mods out there that give you a lot of prefabs that you can work with. So like 99% of what I built here was done with two mods. You know, give or take one or two items from a different mod or even vanilla pieces. But for the most part, this is all done with two mods. And I'm pretty sure that like half the settlement is one mod and the other half is the other mod. I, I use a good mixture of both. So the two mods that I'm using is CVC Dead Wasteland. It's available on Xbox and PC. And the other one is the Kuro Tab or the Kuro Tab or... Kuro tab. I'm probably saying it wrong, but I say Kuro. This is also available on Xbox and PC, and it's an incredible mod. Like, it is not leaving my menu ever. It's it's so good. Um, and I actually know the owner of this. He's a part of my Discord server, and I believe that he learned a lot about modding from my server, from the people on my server, and that's just really cool to hear. I love this mod because he gives you so many different types of textures for all these different types of walls. So we have the wood walls here. We have um, even in the metal. Uh, the metal is like the coolest looking ones. And they fit in very well with the game. And so you can see that I used them all across my build. So really, I did this whole build by using prefabs from these two mods and just building around them. So like I started off with this covered bridge that we get from the Kuro tab. I placed it right above where I wanted the entrance to be and then put in two guard posts right beside it. And you can see that these are all just one piece. So it was very easy to do. This tower frame, I don't know why my generator is stuck under it and moves with it. This is, oh, this is weird. Oh, I can't stop looking at it. I just put in a couple of walls around it and a roof and I made a custom tower with just a couple of pieces. Another good example is the outside wall. So I used this really long junk fence from CVC, placed that down, and in front of it I put down one of these metal ones. And it wasn't tall enough, so I used another one and just essentially just glitched it on top of there to make it look a little bit bigger. And I did that same method all the way around the settlement. You can see it's the same wall all the way around. And to change it up, I just used different types of junk fences that we get from the same mod and just put them up there with you know the the metal pieces and like the marketplace has these shipping containers which is all just one piece from the Kuro tab so I place it down put a couple of barrels on top of it and then boom I got a shop did the same thing with this one this is just all one piece so I place that down too and then use CVC to put this awning on top of it and it just adds a little bit more character to it you know I really like using these metal shacks from Diamond City but we only have two of them so this one what I did with it, it has like this weird like dirt texture underneath it. I don't know, it's, it's weird. But I wanted it to be right here and kind of pretty high up. So I used these concrete ground pieces from CVC to cover up that weird spot. And it actually looks kind of cool. It looks built into the ground. See, I did the same thing over here with the clinic. And you see, I wanted to use this same structure over here, but I didn't want it to look too repetitive. So what I did was use the Kuro tab to cover up the wall. So yeah, it's the same structure, but changing the wall makes it not so obvious that it's the same structure. Or maybe that's just me. And the last example that I want to point out is the residential area back here. Like, I didn't build any of this, any of these houses. These are all prefabs. Like, this one we get with the base game. This is a vanilla piece. This comes with CVC. This is the one that I showed you earlier from the Kuro tab. And it's all pieces that I just placed down beside each other. And I'm not saying that it doesn't take skill to build this way. I'm just saying it's a lot easier than building everything from the ground up. And I had a lot of fun trying to figure out where to put everything and how to make them different from each other. It was just a different way of building for me, and I really enjoyed it. 
But I really hope you guys enjoyed this and got something out of it. I'll be doing the decorations next week, so my next video would be the final tour. If you guys have any suggestions for what I should include in here, please let me know in the comments.